think that being an artist is not something I even address as a career. For me, being an immigrant, art was what you inherited from other generations. It's everything, it is culture itself. Stepping into the show, you're overcome with the sensuality of these materials, these colors, these exuberant forms. I would describe Rena's work as maximalist, magnificent, full of energy and brilliance. What moves us as human beings is what I feel most important in my work because it allows you to understand why we need to connect. Rena's insistence on not letting her work be simplified and insisting that it contain all of the complexities of our lived experience in the 21st century has resonated a lot with the artists who I've been working with, particularly the artists of color, particularly women. Rena's work really resonates with people whose sense of identity is pieced together from different areas. And here in San Jose, we have so many diasporic communities. The relationship with a museum is always a place to discover what an institution can or cannot do to make art available for the surrounding people, but also make it visible in the world so that the surrounding people who live there near San Jose can know about the world and then the world can know about them. San Jose Museum of Art is very open to expressions. And I really enjoyed using the balcony and the staircase and the kind of movements that allow the positioning on the elevator to enter into the formal space to allow me to do whatever I want to. It's really just freedom. The San Jose Museum of Art is really proud to have co-organized Rena Banerjee's mid-career retrospective with the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. This is a groundbreaking exhibition that traveled to other venues and produced a scholarly catalog. I think probably it was long overdue. Rena is very well known, particularly in Europe, and to an international audience, but she's an American, and this was an opportunity to honor this great American artist. Having Rena's retrospective on view made this museum come alive. We had lines around the block. People came from San Francisco, from Los Angeles. I think we're so lucky to have Rena Banerjee in our lives and to have been able to organize this project and expose other audiences to the brilliance of her work. I think women artists as well as people of color, people from poverty, have had less access to the idea of being an artist because it's been so much corralled as this glamorous, masculine profession. I didn't have a studio for a long, long time, for 10 years. I make very large works. I've been able to do that with the cooperation of so many women curators and women directors who, like the San Jose Museum of Art, have allowed me to do the work of my dreams.